You're listening to Chad Baker on WTF Radio. Hey, if we had the money, you'd be here in Rose Garden by Lynn Anderson right now. 3,600 quid Sony wanted for that. <laughs> if only. So, anyway, here's some royalty-free music just about the way. Boss? Yeah, we've tried that. And that. No, he's allergic to eggs. Follow me. Right. Yeah, we can try. Yeah. Where did you find that gag? Methodist Church. Well, an abandoned skip outside. I just happened to have it in my pocket. All right, Gary. You've got two options. Option one. You tell us what you want to know. We all have a drink. Keep it civil. Option two. We kill you. What's he trying to say? Shh. Uh, four words. Four syllables. First word. I had it then. What are you trying to say? I was saying, take my gag off. What have you taken his gag off for? Now he can identify us. Oh, shit, you're right. Well, come on, then. Tell us what we want to know. <laughs> right. I'm going to count to three. One, two, count to three. You do know he's not a child you're about to put on the naughty step. <sighs> right. Get me a screwdriver. Mm. What type? Phillips or flathead? It doesn't matter, Eddie, does it? It depends on what you want to do with it. I'm going to stab it into this bastard's leg. Oh, well, you could have just said that. Would you kindly pass me a screwdriver, Eddie? No problem, bro. Thank you. Eddie! All right, I'm going. Last chance. I can't find any screwdrivers. For fuck's sake! Are you serious? Sorry about this, mate. Where'd you keep your screwdrivers? Just keep looking. Not exactly the most professional art for you've ever been tortured by, I'm guessing. No. I appreciate you not saying, but no. <sighs> Fuck it. This is my first time, and it's not something I ever saw myself getting into, to be honest. Torture? It's not exactly the kind of thing you think, I'd like to do that when I grow up, is it? Although saying that, I never knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to make my mum smile, but even that was hard. After the stroke and the Bell's palsy. And I guess the clinical depression didn't help either. You know what, well, sometimes she'd just lie there. And I tried to read to her, but I couldn't read. I sometimes wonder if I developed some avoidant style of attachment through her, cos I just don't commit to relationships, never have. I create these impossible standards for women and... All right, well, truthfully, I think I'm just terrified of intimacy. 
That's all I have. Are you having a laugh? That's all I have. And what am I going to do with that? Hmm? Drop it down his ear canal and hope his eardrum ruptures. Jesus, I'll find one myself. Unbelievable. Huh? I don't know why I bother. I don't know why I let people take advantage of me. I'm lying, of course. I know why. I come from a family of emotionally unstable caregivers. Very volatile atmosphere. I learn quickly. To keep myself safe, I'd have to keep them emotionally buoyant. I developed attachment issues, deep-seated abandonment problems. And now, now I can only form friendships and attachments with people who, with avoidance issues. <sighs> and I wear a mask. Oh yeah, I wear a mask. People love the mask. They love it. I'm sat here behind that mask, seeing all that love, 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 come flowing in for that mask, knowing it's not for me. Ah, oh. see you couldn't find one as well, eh? What a surprise. So? So what? So maybe you might apologise for making me sad. <laughs> Not likely. Man, I really made you feel sad. All right, I'm sorry. Really? Y you mean that? Yes. Look, I forget how sensitive you get about these things, all right? I'm sorry. Didn't mean to laugh. Didn't mean to invalidate your feelings. It's... It's just a defence mechanism, mate, all right? Thank you. It's really great we can communicate like this. I mean, whilst we acknowledge that we've each got our own emotional requirements, knowing each other's emotional triggers is... is key to genuine intimacy. <laughs> OK. I'll tell you, just please stop talking! The money's in that bag! In that tool bag over there! <gasps> Eddie, go... Would you kindly go check, please? I'd be delighted to, Brock. Thank you, Eddie. I appreciate you. <laughs> Um. Yep, it's all here. Uh, a lot of screwdrivers as well. Still want one. No thanks, Eddie. That won't be necessary. Well, that was easy. <laughs> 